Hello and welcome. So in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, JSON files, specifically one of the more difficult problems, which is how do you update a JSON file that you already have? So if you look over here, I've got a JSON file uh, named 01 underscore names dot JSON. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this list of names, we're going to read it into our Python script that we're going to write over here, and we're going to actually process it, analyze it, and then update it. And we're going to do that by including an extra person over here. And I'm kind of an idiot and I used first name as surname. I'm going to change that right now. First name, first name, first name. And there we go. So now we have a first name named Jim, a first name named Test, and a first name named Bob. But what we're going to do is we're going to add <clears throat> someone else to this list. So how are we going to do that? Well, first and foremost, we are going to import json that's the module for working with json files in python the next thing that we're going to do is we have to kind of create a definition and this answer is coming to you from geeksforgeeks.org i'm going to include a link in the description the reason why i'm putting it up here is because when i was first working with json files it took me a while to find this solution and the solutions that are on stack overflow are a little difficult to parse so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a definition and this is going to be def um, j, uh, uh, underscore write underscore json we're going to pass in two arguments the first one's going to be data and the next one's going to be file name and we're going to make the file name equal to uh, our file name over here which is 01 underscore names dot json within this definition we are going to do just a couple lines of code we're going to say with open or with open file name so that's going to pass in our file name right here and we're going to run it as write this is going to allow us to write data to that json file and we're going to uh, do that right as f typical pythonic way of doing that and we're going to say json.dumps and oh dump there we go uh, and we're going to say data so it's going to be the data that we pass in and we're going to do that to f which is our file that we have open and we're going to indent uh, is equal to four and that's going to make it look all beautiful like this so now that we got that definition kind of uh, written and out of the way let's start uh, our, our function uh, let's start actually writing the code that we need to um, write to pass that data to our function of write underscore json so what we're going to do is very simple very common json uh, interaction so we're going to say with open and we're going to say 01 underscore names dot json <clears throat> as json underscore file typical pythonic way of doing that we're going to say the data is equal to json dot load and we're going to load in that whole json file so this is just simply loading in this file and allowing us to create an object called data which is going to be this entire set of information what we're going to do though is we want to get a very specific thing from this json file we want to get this piece right here this names and we want to get everything that's underneath that so to do that we're going to do a temporary data source we're going to create an object of temp is equal to data and we're going to do names names so what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to read all of this information under names now that we have that we need to create another object we need to know what information we want to pass to it. So we want to pass a new thing of a new um, item of first names. And we want that to be equal to, let's just say Joe. And we want, <clears throat> excuse me, we want to have also Joe's age registered as, mm, let's just say 40. So now that we have that, we want to close that out and it's closed. Now that we have that, we've got the same structure as we have over here. Now all we have to do is we have to just simply uh, append. So keep in mind when this data is loaded in, it's loaded in as a list like we see here. We want to append to that list. We want to load it in, at, load in and append Y. And now all we have to do is we simply have to do write JSON. We're going to call that function. And we're going to do pass simply in the information of data. And the reason why we're able to do that is because we have passed all this information in and we've updated all that information on um, in the data memory. And when we write it back in, we are simply going to erase everything that was there and rewrite and update this JSON file. So let's go ahead and run this. 
And if you notice, we've done just that. In a, a split second, granted we're working with minimal amounts of data, we've been able to add in Joe to our JSON file. So that's the quick and easy way of how you update a JSON file. You simply read in all the information in Python, and then you write a very simple function to, that will take all that data once it's processed and you've appended it, and it will uh, load it all in for you. And if you just follow this very simple format, you'll find that you can copy and paste this code in all of your projects with very minimal alteration. All you're going to need to do is to update the names uh, or the uh, the file name, the specific tag within the JSON file, and then this kind of bit of data that you want to pass. But the crux of the code can be easily implemented in any of your DH projects. Thank you for listening.